Hey guys, it's Naujot Singh Jadeja. Welcome to ED Technology, inspiring learning through education and technology. Today's topic is decision making statement which is if else in programming in C. So if you are done programming in C, you understand that there are a lot of ways you can actually provide control statement or decision making. Today we are going to talk on if else. So this is a simple program which I have here which is the first basic program in C programming which is hello world or saying hello. So it has the header files, it has the void main and it has a printer statement saying hello. And the output for the same would be something like this as you can see here on the side screen which is output screen. Now if I add more details here and make the program like this, let's say printf hello. The next printf says hello how are you and the output will be like this. Those who are already into the programming or those who understand programming they would know that why these two are in the same line because we are not given a next line character. If you want to print this in a next line you have to use a next line character otherwise where the first output ends the second printf will start printing the same and this is how you do the same. So you add a next line character in between or you can use it at the end of the first printf or at the starting of the second printf and the output will appear like this. And if I add more statements then basically the output varies according to this. The only problem here is that when I'm trying to run and execute this is how the pointer will move from each print line or each instruction within the program. What I do not have here is the control over the program execution because this is a serial execution where we do not have control over the program once we execute the program. It will run line by line. But if you want to change the execution order then what do we do? In order to do that we control the execution order and that is why I said if else is a control statement. So those who are studying engineering and watching this video, there can be a question in your examination uh, explaining different control statements or else if you are watching this video to refresh for the uh, you know placement interviews, then also the uh, interviewer can ask you explain different types of control statement and programming in C and if else being one of them. So let's see a scenario, let's see an analogy. I'm going for a walk. So if it rains, then I wear a sweatshirt or a raincoat. So here if you can see properly, there is a condition given in here. So similarly, if I'm trying to write a program for that, program that needs decision. So here the program is simple. I'm going for a walk. I'll, need, I'll take my rain jacket, sweatshirt, etc. But again, going back to the earlier slide, this will only be executed in a certain order. There is no control over it. So if condition is true then execute this statement. This is how if statement syntax is. So if you are doing this for the first time you have to write a condition within the braces to give a checkpoint. If that is true the next statement will be executed. If that is not true it will exit the loop and turn on and execute the rest of the statement as per the prescription. So when we are trying to see that, so same program we are trying to convert it into a decision making. So earlier program will now turn into this where we have the void main printf. I'm going for a walk. If it's raining so the condition is there. If that is true then printf I'll take my rain jacket. So this is how you have to use the simple if statement. Now we are setting the values now we are going into the programming rather than the analogy. So it's raining is equal to 1. So we have already set it right. So the output would be I'm going for a walk I'll take my rain jacket because we already set the value. So what happens when you give an if statement in the condition? So if that value is true, it will set the value as equal to 1. 
and ultimately print the statement. But because we have already initialized it to is equal to 1, it is printing both because now as per the program compile time we are uh, telling the program that it's already raining. And if we are giving the value 0, then it will only print I'm going for a walk. Why? Because right now by default the value it's raining is not true. So how does the if else work? So we write if and then into the braces the condition. If let's say age greater than 18, then you can vote else you have to wait till you are 18. So this if else condition helps you in deciding and controlling the, uh, the flow of the program. One more thing is you can directly use if only when you are knowing that there is not an alternate scenario. That if this is true then we will do it else the condition is default. Whereas if you want specifically an else statement then you have to use if else logic. So result of the program in here would be like we have integer marks is equal to 25. If marks greater than equal to 35, print pass, else print fail. Pause the program here and try to understand the program and you decide by yourself, write on a piece of paper whether this will result in pass or fail. So as you can see, it is a program where we have given a compile time value for marks which is 25. And the condition says if the marks is greater than equal to 35, it is pass else fail. That's what the case I think most of the students know. So the output would be fail. And yes, you are right. Most of the people would have got it. But this is how your program should appear. Now I'm changing it to 75. So the output is changing to pass. So this is the same demo program which you can pause the video here. Go back to your uh, C editor, it can be code blocks or turbo C or any other thing. Try to write this program, give different marks and if you want to have a, a different execution every time. So instead of compile time uh, uh, well, value giving, you can try the runtime also. So now try to uh, see this program. Here we have the marks defined as in the 75. So we assign the 75 value. The condition is still the same if marks greater than 35, print have pass, print have congratulations, else fail. So, so in this way, you can have a looping statement which has a control and rather than executing everything in a line, now we have the control on what will be executed in the output. So this is use of if as well as if else. This is the usage of control statements and this can be used for different purposes as we saw here in order to check whether the marks uh, what you got means you are passing or failing or you can even use it for different checking purposes. Similarly, there can also be multiple FLs which is known as FLs ladder and for that we will be making up a new video. So please make sure you are subscribing the channel so that you are aware about the next topics. Please feel free to comment in the comment section if you have any doubts related to that. As soon as I get the time, I'll try to make sure that I come up with the replies. Is there any other topic which you would like me to make a video on? I'll surely be happy to do that. Thank you so much for uh, watching the video. Happy learning. Thank you from ED Technology.